Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video. Yes, today we are doing shelf three on my complete Blu-ray collection. Uh, and this is another 4K shelf. Uh, so another full shelf, so expect about 40, 45 minutes. So let's go through them and see what we've got on shelf three. Okay, I'll try and keep these in as best alphabetical order as possible. So we start at the top of the pile there, very wobbly pile. Um, Clint Eastwood's The Mule. I didn't know he was a mule. <laughs> Eeyore. Yes, um, inspired by a true story. This was pretty good. A little bit slow in places, but still good performance from Clint Eastwood himself. Uh, this was one of those HMV ones where you buy something and then you get it for about nine quid, £9.99. Uh, and it's basically about this old guy who's got a pickup truck and starts drug running for the cartel. So, yeah, really good. Uh, next up, we have Oceans 8. Believe it or not, this is the only Oceans movie I've got. I haven't got 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, <laughs> all of the other ones, <coughs> and this is in 4K. This is this is the female uh, Oceans 8, so this is the Ghostbusters of the crime world. <laughs> but um, it's got Sandra Bullock, it doesn't look like Sandra Bullock. It's got some good cast in it, Anne Hathaway, Kate Blanchett. Uh, Rihanna, Helena Bollum Carter. So yeah, I'm looking forward to actually watching that one. I've had this one quite a while and not got round to seeing it, but that's not a surprise really. Oh, right. Next up, um, we have this week's winner in the flick bin. Once upon a time in Hollywood. Yes, this has been voted for me to watch this week. Um, don't really know too much about it. My buddy Lewis has said it countless times, more than 10 times, probably. I saw it a few times in the cinema. Um, great cast. Um, all I know is it's Quentin Tarantino and it's based around Hollywood um, in the, is it the 60s? Yeah, 1969. So looking forward to watching that one, actually. So we'll soon find out if I like it. Next up, we have a bit of robot action. Pacific Rim Uprising. Haven't seen this, didn't see it at the cinema. Uh, stars John Boyega and Scott Eastwood, old Clint's boy. Um, apparently this one's not as good as the first one, but uh, I thought the first one was really good. And next up, uh, we have a bit of Animal Resurrection. <laughs> based on the novel by Stephen King, Pet Cemetery, and this is the remake with Jason Clark, I believe. Uh, I and John Lithgow. Yeah, I actually kind of enjoyed this. Yeah, I don't think it was as bad as people make out. It's not as good as the original, but um, I thought it was really good, and I like the twist um, with the, the son and the daughter. Uh, next up, we have a bit of Arnie. That's right, Predator. And this is the 4K Predator. This is the original movie. Looks really good. Way better than the Blu-ray. Um, great cover. Look at that cover. Love a bit of Predator action. What we got next? Uh, we've got Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Uh, this is a still book. And this contains the 4K, the 3D and the Blu-ray. Um, but I haven't got around to seeing it yet. It is in the flick bin. So hopefully one day that might get picked out for me to watch. And uh, Next we've got a bit of Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, me, Lulu and Claire went to see this at the cinema and enjoyed it. Red Sparrow. Some really good spy action. A uh, bit of Dwayne Johnson. There's always going to be a bit of Dwayne Johnson in the collection. Probably on every shelf. Big Meets Bigger. Rampage. And this is based on the computer game, which I never played. 
uh, but um, it's about a giant gorilla or monkey uh, ape called George and he's white so he's like an al albino monkey an albino monkey I think it's an albino gorilla next up <laughs> yes we'll have a little less of that thank you very much Rambo Last Blood um, it was okay uh, the last half an hour felt like a Rambo film um, when he went back home and set up all these booby traps first half of the film was a bit slow in places um, it also kind of didn't feel like a Rambo film because he's cut his hair and he's no longer got a bandana on his head. So it felt a little bit more just like a an, an average Stallone action film. It didn't this is probably the least uh the least feeling Rambo film. Yeah. Uh, but um they call it Last Blood, but I'm I'm hoping they will do another one because it, it was left open. Next up we have a bit of Steven Spielberg fantasy with a bit of Van Halen music thrown in. Incredible visuals. The 3D of this is unbelievable. Um, I haven't seen the 4K yet, but I should imagine all those colours is going to look spectacular. This is Ready Player One. Fantastic. Includes 90 minutes of special features. Next up, we have a bit of Star Trek. I managed to pick this one up cheap as well. This is Star Trek Beyond the 4K. Um, I might actually get the first two films, Star Trek and Into Darkness. I might get the US ones um, because the UK ones don't have slip covers. Um, and this is actually a slim one, so it will blend in better with the US ones with slips. Another bit of Dwayne Johnson. Um, some people say that this is a die-hard rip-off. Um, I think it has more in common with maybe the Towering Inferno than Die Hard. This is Skyscape, Skyscraper. And I enjoyed this. I thought it was a really good film. Next up, we have a bit of Joss Whedon. Um, bringing back Firefly. Serenity. And I need to get a slip for this, so I'll be looking on eBay to see if I can get a slip cover. There is one, it does exist. But a uh, nice bit of uh, Firefly action there aboard the Serenity. Next up, the greatest war film of all time. Saving Private Ryan, or Shaving Ryan's Privates. <laughs> oh dear me, absolutely incredible story, fantastic acting action oh my god um especially the first half hour and i remember when we first saw this we saw it at the empire leicester square and there was a couple of um veterans in their maybe 80s or 90s that first half half hour they actually walked out the cinema not because it's bad filmmaking because it's not it was too much for them it was too much for them. It's probably bringing back so many memories. But uh, it is a really good, stunning, fantastic film from Steven Spielberg. Unfortunately, um, because it's a Paramount UK release, they never did a slip for it. The US one's got a slip, but uh, unfortunately the UK one doesn't. Next up is a bit of Al Pacino, uh, brother of Cappuccino. And this is... <laughs> Oh, God, the isolation is doing my head in. Uh, this is Scarface, and this is the gold edition on 4K. So I've never seen this film in my life. So I am looking forward to actually watching this. There's probably so many films, so many classic films, that as a movie fan I should watch. I've just never got around to watching. Uh, a bit more fantastic Spielberg action again, Schindler's List. Uh, and this is a bit of a hard watch at times. 
obviously because of the content. But uh, Rafe Fiennes is absolutely incredible in this as the um, the German officer. And Liam Neeson and Ben... 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 <laughs> I can't remember his name. Ben... Uh, oh, you know. Um, Gandhi bloke. I can't flipping can't remember his name. I love this edition. It's got a nice gold, some nice gold foil effect on there. A very plain matte underneath. This is just the shiny plastic case, and then the little girl in the red. Um, it's a shame that they actually didn't do that in like a glossy emboss. That would have been good. And uh, that was 20 quid when I picked that up. Next up, uh, we have Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. Based on a story by Stephen King. Uh, and from what I understand, Stephen King didn't like this version. So apparently he made his own version. I don't think I've ever seen that version. But uh, this is the one that everybody remembers. This is the... Jack Nicholson acts in the door. And look, I think that is little Ewan McGregor. <laughs> yes, so um, I'm looking forward to actually watching that one because I've never seen it. And, and I'm hoping at one, one point, um, and I might just forego the flick bin and just pair it with Dr. Sleep and just watch them Maybe one on one day, one on another day, do reviews for both of them or do one review in one day. So I'm not going to watch Doctor Sleep before I've seen The Shining, so I will watch them in order. Next up, we have one of the greatest superhero movies of all time. Superman the movie. I love this slip. This slip is beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. It's got... Embossing on the Superman, the movie logo, foil up the top there. Really beautiful slip. Um, unfortunately, the transfer is not brilliant. I know it's a, it's quite an old film, uh, 70s, I think 70 something. Um, there's a lot of grain. Uh, there's a lot of fuzziness, kind of made to look like comic book style. But um, it's still the best uh, quality picture that we've ever seen so even though it can be a bit clouded and a bit grainy um, that's the best way to see it totally knocks the socks off the blu-ray next up we have the shape of water and this was an uh, hmv exclusive steel book uh, it's a 4k one with the Blu-ray as well. Really good film. Uh, modern take on Creature from the Black Lagoon. And next up we have a nice bit of Alicia Vikander as Lara Croft in Tomb Raider. Um, and when this came out it was a toss up whether to get the 3D or the 4K. Um, but I'd heard that the 3D actually really wasn't that good. So I went straight for the 4K. She was really good as Lara Croft. Um, I really hope that we do get another one with Alicia in. And next up we have the second film from Jordan Peele, who I'm currently enjoying watching, narrating the Twilight Zone series at the moment. And this is Us. This was a bit of a weird one, but it's one of my top films. Um, this family gets doppelgangers. And we a strange ending with rabbits and all that kind of stuff, but really good ending. And next up, uh, we have a visually astonishing film. The visuals in this movie are it's breathtaking. Um, it's from Luc Besson, the legendary director of Leon and The Fifth Element and Lucy. And stars Dane DeHaan and Cara Delevingne. This is uh, Val I was going to call it Valerie. V Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. Uh, and I've watched the three. The three D is incredible. It's 
absolutely beautiful the 3D. So I am looking forward to watching the 4K on that one. But um, I think that film gets a little bit too harsh judgment. Uh, it's not the best cast, but um, I think they do OK. Next up, a bit of Tom Hardy. Venom. One of Mama Bowman's favourite films uh, because he's got Tom Hardy. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to Venom 2. Really good. Really do enjoy Venom. Next up, some Hugh Jackman and Kate Beckinsale in a film by Stephen Summers, who did the Mummy movies. And this is Van Helsing. It's got werewolves and flying bats and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's a fun, it's a bit of a fun ride. You don't need your brain really, you can leave your brain at the door. Now for a couple of Disney's, Disney 4Ks, live action ones. So we have Beauty and the Beast with Emma Watson and Dan Stevens, I believe. Really good. This is a really good film. And then we have Disney's The Jungle Book with Bill Murray, King, uh, Ben Kingsley. That's who I was trying to think of from um, Gandhi. Uh, Lupita Nyong'o, Scarlett Johansson. There's such a good cast on that. Um, this is probably maybe the best of the Disney live action movies. That and Beauty and the Beast. Next up we have Aladdin. And this is the original movie. So this is uh, the one with Robin Williams as the, as the genie. Um, it's been quite a while since I've seen that. I don't believe I've got the 4K for the new Aladdin. Um, I decided to pick it up on 3D instead, which we'll get to on shelf four. And then we have Malis Maleficent with Angelina Jolie. This is the 4K of the first film. Good film. It's been a while since I've seen that. I never saw Mistress of Evil, the second film, so maybe I should need to pair those two up as well and watch them back to back. And also the original Lion King, not the, uh, the live remake, but this is the original animated movie. Um, still the best. OK, uh, next we're going through quite a lot of Sonys. A lot of these have been reduced over the last couple of months. I found a lot of them in HMV for like six ninety nine each for four Ks. So I think it was Sony trying to get rid of maybe a lot of stock. So first of all, we have The Da Vinci Code with Tom Hanks. Really good film, really good suspense film. Uh, also got Ian McKellen there as well. And then we follow that up with Angels and Demons. Also a really good film. Um, Ewan McGregor is really good in that. Okay, and of course, topping that off, we've got Inferno. I hope we do get another film. We should get another film. And this has got the lovely Felicity, uh, Felicity Jones in uh, Gina Erso. Um, as well as Tom Hanks, obviously. So, yeah, I hope we do get another film. It's been a while since we've had one of the uh, the Robert Langston stories. Next up, we have Bad Boys. What you're going to do when they come for you. <laughs> and this is the original movie. And um, I believe this was, kind of, I think it was £9.99 as well in HMV. Um, as well as... What you're going to do when they come for you too. That's right. Bad Boys 2. So great films. Looking forward to getting the third film when it comes out. Did see it in the cinema. Loved it. Uh, next up we have a film from the director of District 9. I love District 9. Um, I've not seen this film though. This is Chappie with Hugh Jackman. And also Sigourney Weaver. Didn't know Sigourney Weaver was in it. And uh, Shalto Copley, who was in District 9. Uh, next up, we have a bit of Chloe Grace Moretz. 
Um, in a film I liked, me and Lulu went to the cinema to see it. We thought it was really good, actually. The Fifth Wave. Um, and this is this is a disaster film. Uh, it's kind of Invasion of the Body Snatchers, a new take on it. But for what it was, really enjoyed it. Oh, you can't go wrong with a bit of Robin Williams. Jumanji. The original Jumanji. Still the best. Ah, oh, fantastic. And then topping that one off with Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle, which I've not seen this yet. And really, um, I should be getting the new one any day now. It's been posted, uh, so I should be getting the 4K for the new one. Unfortunately, they never did a 3D for the new one. But uh, yeah, um, I'll probably watch those, both those Jumanjis back to back. Next up, we have some Labyrinth, which I did a review on a little while ago. Very enjoyable 80s fantasy flick from Jim Henson with David Bowie. And then also I had to pair this one up, The Dark Crystal. Uh, I've yet to see the TV series, but... Um, I don't think you have to see this before seeing the series. I think the series is a prequel, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, it's been a while since I've seen that. Next up, um, who are you going to call? <laughs> They're here to save the world. Ghostbusters. Oh yes, this is the original Ghostbusters. Still the best Ghostbusters. And then next up, Ghostbusters 2. Uh, still really enjoyable. Not as good as the first one, but I still enjoy that one. So looking forward to Ghostbusters Afterlife. But uh, I think we're going to have a little bit of a wait for it now. <laughs> sausage Party. <laughs> if you like animation and you like sausages having orgasms with baked bean tins. You'll like it. <laughs> Such a nutty film. Next up we have The Amazing Spider-Man uh, with Andrew Garfield. Not a bad, not a bad series of Spider-Man films. Uh, I still prefer the Tobey Maguire ones, but Tom Holland is really good as well. Now Brad Pitt in a really good war film, all based around tanks. Fury, that's a great film. Shia LaBeouf's in that and he's really good. Hancock. Will Smith and Charlize Theron. Brilliant alternative take on a superhero film where Will Smith's character really doesn't give a crap. You should pair that up with Brightburn. Sam Rockwell doing his best. 250,000 miles from home. Moon. Yes. Brilliant film. Brilliant performances. Next up we have another film that I've never seen. With Seth Rogen and James Franco. Pineapple Express. So. From the guys who brought you super bad. Have to watch this. I don't know if it's anything to do with pineapples or if it's anything to do with an express, but that should be interesting. Next up is a bit of animation, which has also spawned a sequel, which has been pushed back because of everything that's going on. Peter Rabbit, um, the voice of James Corden, um, which I didn't mind because it was just his voice. But... Um, that was an enjoyable family film. Hope the second one's better though. Next up we have a bit of rousing action. Fast, furious, fun. Angelina Jolie in Salt. Another revenge type thing. Uh, spy assassin. Really good. Really good film. And then we have a film... 
with Julia Roberts and Owen Wilson. And this is uh, Wanda. Um, and this is about a kid that's got a facial deformity or facial facial features. Uh, and it's just basically a, a coming of age film about him trying to fit into society and that kind of thing. Looking forward to watching that. I think it's going to be a bit of a heartwarmer or a tearjerker. Next up, we have some more Arnie action with now the inclusion of Linda Hamilton. Terminator Dark Fate, which I saw at the cinema. Um, uh, this is from Tim Miller, the director of Deadpool, but it is produced by James Cameron. And this is, you're supposed to watch this after Terminator 2. It doesn't really matter. Um, it was okay. I still think there are better Terminator movies. Um, but the acting was good. Um, if you can get past the first five minutes, um, which is a bit of a game changer. But uh, yeah, it, it was okay. Uh, next up, a film which um, for a lot of people wasn't okay. And I actually prefer the last half of this film um, than the beginning. This is X-Men Dark Phoenix. Um, this was a bit of a mess of a film because um, it felt like two films slapped together. Um, the scenes near the end revolving around the train, the interior of the train, were really good. Uh, but it also kind of messed up the timeline, the X-Men timeline. So... It's a bit of a standalone film. The last two, absolutely incredible performance by Brad Pitt. Beautifully shot space film. Um, a slow burn film, um, but uh, really good. Ad Astra. And I'm looking forward to watching that one again. And the last one is... Idris Elba and Matthew McConaughey, The Dark Tower. And I did originally have this on Blu-ray, which I got rid of. Um, and then I found this for a really cheap price. So I thought, as it's cheap, just pick it up. Fantastic. So that's it. That is Shelf 3 done. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it some thumbs up. Uh, comment and share. And um, don't forget to subscribe and I shall see you on the next video, which will be Shelf 4 and the start of the 3D collection. Bye.